station on Space to Ground. Looks like space will have to wait for the next station crew. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. The next Soyuz launch has been postponed. Originally set to launch on September 23rd, the liftoff of the Soyuz MS-02 spacecraft was delayed after routine tests found a technical issue. NASA astronaut Shane Kimbrough and his Russian crewmates Sergei Rizhikov and Andrei Borisenko returned home from Kazakhstan and are now awaiting a new launch date soon to come from Roscosmos. But science marches on aboard the space station with an experiment from pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly in the spotlight this week. The hard to wet surfaces experiment is looking at how liquids and solids interact in microgravity and how certain pharmaceutical products dissolve. Kate Rubin set up samples and camera equipment for the investigation that's hoping to gain a new understanding of two key factors that influence how quickly and how well a solid can dissolve. Another project made possible in the National Lab by CASIS, this investigation could result in more effective medicine for patients here on Earth. This week, Twitter user Nora Trebelsi asked if microgravity influences the growth of hair. That's actually something we haven't studied yet, although hair can tell you a lot about your body. One Japanese study called hair used follicles from 10 different crew members to study gene expression and metabolism and to see if they could find an effective alternative to slightly messier blood and urine tests. Your hair actually records your body's metabolic condition and it's one of the easiest samples to collect. And I think we can all agree long hair looks pretty cool in microgravity. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.